Hey, Jeff Howard here, and we've got the new Bravo 20 electric pump. This is the third generation. Now, let me tell you, I have so many people that show up at the park saying, I don't need an electric pump. I don't want to mess with electric pump. But let me tell you, every time that they use one of them, we end up selling one. They are fantastic. They make things so much easier. And I don't know, once you mess with one, you will see the new Bravo, this is the third generation, and since the, uh, the first generation, they put the battery internally and they are so awesome. It has enough weight to hold your kite down, you hook up the, you hook up the hose, you dial to the pressure you want, and they automatically shut off. It is a fantastic thing, you're out rolling up your lines, there's your kite anchored with the weight of the, of the pump, it is really cool. So what I want to talk about is, again, this is the third generation. The first generation, if you wonder if you already have one and you're curious which generation it is, bottom of the pump, if it's red, it's the first gen. The second generation is black on the bottom, but it doesn't have this black bump on the top here. This is the third generation, and they have made some really nice changes in the third gen because these pumps are used a lot in using uh, pumping up an SUP, which makes it so simple to pump up an SUP with one of these things. Now, it goes up to 20 PSI. You could get a little slight leakage when it gets to high pressure like that, but once you're anywhere near a 20 PSI on an SUP, it is unbelievably stiff and the board is hard. Now, what they've done in the third generation, which is most popular, is, or uh, most important, is they increase the motor size in the third generation. So they pump up about 30% faster. We did some testing on some kites and it definitely has a faster pump to it. And um, they've changed out a few little things on the pistons, nothing serious. Everything works as it has. So this whole unit has the battery in it. Everything is ready to go. It's got the fuse slot here, your charge port and your 12 volt connection. And I'll show you some of the additions to it. Now here in the center, it's got a dial. So what you do is you move this needle to the dial to the pressure you want, start the pump, and after it starts, it'll pump all the way up to that. When the needle hits it, it cuts it off. It's all automatic air pressure and everything. It has a kite leash on here, so you'll hook this to your kite, hook the hose on, and basically just back away. These things will pump, and your kite will be ready to rock and roll. Anyway, they are fantastic. I love the everything is there. So all you got to do is just grab this part of the pump if you want. You don't have to have the bag, but it does come with a really nice bag. So let me show you some of the additions. It's got the manual in here. Um, it's got a couple extra fuses. The thing to remember about these pumps and basically any electric pump, once they are stored, you know, anywhere between two weeks to three weeks, make sure to remove this fuse. There is a little bit of trickle charge that goes into the electrical board, the computer board in these things, and you want to take that out. So take it out, tape it onto your pump, and then store it away. Make sure you fully charge it first and do that, and they will last. That's about the only thing on these pumps that will gradually go bad is a battery, but they're easily replaceable. They're about $20 to $25 for a lead-acid battery, and that's the really cool part. Swi uh, simply switch them out, and you're ready to rock. Um, it comes with a lot of fittings. I want to show you here. So inside here, I'm going to pull out some of these cables. This is the cable. If your battery dies and you want to pump, make the pump run longer or you're pumping up something else and your battery goes down, this can be hooked up to any 12 volt and then connects right into it and then runs off that 12 volt battery. And you can leave the battery in here, everything. You just connect and go. It also has a charge cable for your car. So you've got a 12 volt in the car. Simply plug it up. It's got the light system. It'll tell you, read the manual, it'll tell you what that is. It's got a Euro plug for the power, uh, different hose fittings for some reason you may need. You can hook, hook these onto the uh, hose. So it's got a really long hose. This is really nice because wrapping around the kite or you got the pump over here and you got a big uh, raft or something, you want some distance between. So one end simply connects into the red. It's got a red bushing there that matches it on the pump. It's got three pretty much standard fittings. It's got your 9 mil that'll work in a smaller uh, cone size. Uh, the Boston, this has got a large Boston connector. And then this is like a Cabrina uh, fitting. It'll actually screw on to a small Boston and then connect directly to the hose. Uh, inside of here, here's the S SUP fitting. So it'll go on to your SUP. That's just extra usually down in the bag. If you're not using it for kiting, then uh, just put this away and have it ready if you ever need it for your SUP. So there's that fitting. You got your charge block in here. This is to plug up to 110. 
um, or 220 and that is the charge to charge not to run off of it but to charge your battery um, there's the cord that connects into that for uh, the US and then the euro anyway and the bag these are really awesome if you have not got a chance to use one of these things definitely get us give us any questions or anything else that you may want to know about the pumps but I'll tell you once you start using one they become very addicting anyway that's Jeff Howard with the new Bravo 20 that's a 20 psi pump uh, from Spro Spro <laughs> uh, um, Scope Scoprega. There you go. You got to use these names. It's an Italian name. Anyway, they're they're great. Let us know if you have any questions. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at Kyboarding.com.